People gathered in parts of Africa and across Asia to witness a phenomenon that will not happen again for at least another 1,000 years. Called an annular eclipse, it occurs when the moon moves between the sun and the earth, blocking most of the sun's middle but leaving its edges exposed. The result is this, and it's called a ring of fire. Here in the Kenyan capital Nairobi, residents clamored to get their hands on a pair of sunglasses. Solar filters are needed to protect the viewer from eye damage. And some here took the warning so seriously that they used two pairs at once. For many Kenyans, like George Mwangi, the experience was not only entertaining, but also educational. This is something we have just been hearing about, but it is rare to see it live. This is a good lesson for me because I see now how they pass each other, so I am aware now of how the eclipse happens. But others were filled with fear. This man said he thought the world was ending. I have seen the sun joining with the moon, the moon inside the sun, and I thought the world was ending. But then I realized they had just joined in the middle. By mid-morning it was visible in India and residents gathered to see the sun take on a bright orange tinge as it peered from behind the moon. The event ended at 10.07 GMT and was last visible in China. The full blockage of the sun lasted for 11 minutes and 8 seconds, though it brought a total of nearly 5 hours of viewing pleasure because of its nearly 300 kilometer span of sight. A shorter such eclipse occurred one year ago, and another is expected in 2012. But NASA says none will exceed this one in length, at least not until December in the year 3043. Jennifer Morostica, Reuters.